Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. We want to welcome you again to another empowering edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii. And again, we express our gratitude to Think Tech Hawaii for allowing us to come to your homes and share with you empowering uh, topics and issues that affects or uh, we can benefit from from our uh, show today. We are so fortunate to have uh, BFF uh, Sisterhood today to uh, tell us and share us their uh, heartwarming stories of how they keep their friendships alive. And hopefully by what we are about to share today, you will be in line with our mission. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and of course, the big picture is to empower. Uh, so today we're gonna have a conversation about uh, BFF Sisterhood, and we have in the studio our guests. Uh, first of all, Karen is uh, an anchor at our Pinot Power Radio, and uh, she hosts a Healing Hawaii every uh, Sunday at uh, 7 to 8 p.m. So welcome to our show, Karen. Mahalo, Emmy. So great to be here. Thank you. And we also have, of course, Christine. Yes. Welcome Hi. to the show. Nice to see you. Nice to be with you. Thank you. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Monica yes. uh, to help us with our empowerment. So we will begin our conversation. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you, you grew up and how your friendship started and how it blossomed. Well, I think we became friends because we all went to school together. Mm -hmm. yes. But they went to school together from elementary mm -hmm. in, or intermediate right. yeah. school, Sacred right? Sacred Hearts Convent. Yes. Yes. Sacred Hearts Convent. Mm -hmm. Sacred Hearts. Yeah. That means we have the saints. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't the the <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And then I got to meet them because we all ended up at Sacred Hearts Academy for high school. Mm -hmm. And um, and then that's where we met. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. But we weren't really close in high school. Right. We right. Knew each yeah. other, but yeah. we right. didn't really get, become really close friends until years later after mm -hmm. high school. I That's would say, correct. yeah, yeah. Yes. I would think it was after one of our uh, reunions. Re I won't say mm -hmm. that the year, or <laughs> <laughs> but You're yeah, dating yourself. Yeah, yeah. 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 We one had of the retreats and, and things yeah. like yeah. that. And but we all had different bond. groups um, in yes. high school, so we all had correct. we all belonged to different friendship groups. Right. But like for some reason, like. Well, church yeah, and a lot and of other things brought us together. Of God course. always yes. kind of brought yes. us back together. In our lingo, know? we call it uh, our our peer pressure group or our gang. Yeah, yeah. Gangster, yeah. right. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But nothing was cliquish. We all loved each other. We just had yeah. the dancers and the straight A students and yeah, you know the cheerleaders right and which well, was none of those. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so different categories. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Since you were friends uh, the longest, tell us what it was like uh, growing up together. Uh, were you like, uh, did you form a sisterhood, like uh, sisters, where you shared anything and everything and. Well, like Karen had mentioned, mm -hmm. we have become close sisters because of the bonds that we have formed since Facebook, I should say. Okay. Yeah, social um, media yes. helps really connect us. Mm -hmm. Reconnect us. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, reconnect uh -huh. us. And so since, you know, slowly but surely, two, three, four, ten of us now mm -hmm. <laughs> together, yes, and we always get together. We go out to wine events at each other's houses. Mm -hmm. um, other things, school events we've gone to. Yeah, yeah our, I think it's through our class reunions and through our high school bond and the foundation we got mm -hmm. at school mm -hmm. with God and um, our Catholic upbringing. Right. That when we started to grow up and through the years and using social media to reconnect mm -hmm. us, it helped us because as you age, you go through life and life can be tough and hard and you kind of like need to lean on your childhood friends and right. your sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so it really helped us to um, go through the things right. that yeah. we had to go yeah. through. Ups and downs of life. life. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh -huh. yeah. And, and Stacy um, Ayers, who's not here with us today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're yeah. Stacy's. We had, yeah, we had a conversation this morning which was spot on is like, um, God brings people in your life for seasons. Mm -hmm. And He always brought us back together. You know, whether um, someone got married, moved to the mainland. Mm -hmm. And when He brought us back together in the new season, it was like we never left each other's side. Like, mm -hmm. you just kind of pick off, pick up from where you left off and it didn't feel like you were disconnected for 
five years or six years mm -hmm. or whatever it was, you mm -hmm. know. So I think it was just the foundation of yes. the sisterhood of yes. Sacred Hearts Sacred Academy. Hearts. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. So share with us, uh, when did you know that uh, you could rely on each other, uh, whether it was good or bad, um, especially for you two where you started your friendship at a very early age. Because sometimes there are uh, what we call uh, false friends mm, who yeah. are there sure. to, yeah. uh, you mm -hmm. know, suck energy mm -hmm. or yes. uh, get information just to put you down so that they look good. Yes. That's yeah. very true. I think both of us were easygoing. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're We go with the flow, yeah. you know, so love we everyone. <laughs> to mm -hmm. make friends mm -hmm. and I think that some people were a little bit separated maybe not had the same likes or dislikes but as far as me and Monica and, mm -hmm. and me and Karen we we definitely have the same likes and dislikes and even if you know some of that wasn't the same we still could lean on each other we we could trust mm -hmm. um, our bonds right. Mm -hmm. yeah, right with not like maybe saying it outside of our group or perhaps um, you know, just keeping that in line with inside of ourselves. Like we're gonna we're gonna help out each other. We're gonna be able to get through this together, and without any external type of, um, of influences, I would say. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think it's maturity. Um, I'm sure I talk for the three of us. Mm -hmm. We've had friendships from youth you know, to now, and you have those friends that suck the gen the energy out of you, you have the drama or the negativity, and uh -huh. as you get older, you only have so much time in your life, yeah. so you want to make sure that friendships that you have are quality, and you need to know who to let go of and who to keep next mm, to you right, and within, right. in, in your circle. Mm. You know who you can depend on. Uh -huh. And I and I think um, doing our Y to Kai has mm. brought us even closer mm -hmm. together, because I know I can lean on them, there's no judgment, mm -hmm. you know, there's mm -hmm. honesty, I can be transparent and tell them how I feel. They might not agree with everything that <clears throat> I think or I'm doing, but mm -hmm. they're there to love me and support me, you know, mm -hmm. and that's that's, that's that good security, Perfect. good security of knowing that I can come to them and they won't judge me or mm -hmm. turn their back, that they will be an ear to listen. That is so heartwarming to hear that uh, you have that bond of uh, like unconditional love which helps to sustain you. Yes. Uh, I grew up on the island of Lanai. Mm. So, wow. Uh, it's a small island. It's yeah. a small island. Yeah. So everybody lives in a glass house where everyone knows what's going on, right. what you're doing, right. which boy you're going out with, which boy oh, you stayed yeah. out with, yeah. you know, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, was there ever a, a time in uh, your life where you had those uh, crushes and a boy got in between or... Friendship? Uh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Not us particularly, yeah, but not growing not up that. in life, yeah. yes, yes. yes. But describe what uh, you saw growing up that helped you to learn uh, <coughs> from watching that. Uh, yeah. that experience. Because I know that sometimes those type of uh, high school romance kind of get in the way where mm, you know yeah. friendships are broken. Right? Uh, did you uh, yeah, witness? Or? I, I, I've witnessed several friendships and. Um, it's hurtful, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you trust and you love that person and you feel that, you know, that's your best friend. But with maturity, because back then you don't understand it, as you grow, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, that wasn't a true friendship. You can because look at I'm, it yeah, in different ways. Because mm -hmm. a friend would not turn their mm -hmm. back on you, you know. True. You, yeah. Or you could communicate. Mm -hmm. But when you're young, you don't know how to communicate exactly. and how you feel. Yes. So you keep it all inside, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And as you get older, it's like there's no sense in going back and talking about that issue. So you just got to forgive and forgive and let go. Mm -hmm. True. And not hold on to it. Uh, you know? That's true. Uh, Monica, that's easier to say because we, uh, we can look back and uh, we have wisdom and experience that makes us wiser. Right, right. But what was difficult for me was uh, all the name calling, mm. uh, bullying uh, <laughs> for I me. Had that you yeah. know, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, I came from the Philippines where I, I didn't speak uh, good English, mm. and I was always bullied and put down. I got called manang or you know bago, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all kinds yeah, of derogatory. Yeah. So yes. I, I'm not sure if you experienced that. Type Type of bullying, name calling, and had these challenges growing up because that kind of stops you or suppresses you from doing your best. Uh, yeah. Can Chris, you relate Chris, to what I'm Chris saying? Can 
share? I, I moved around a lot. I uh -huh. um, had family here in Hawaii. My mom worked for the airline, so I traveled back and mm -hmm. forth. And so, yes, because I spoke really good English, I came from the mainland, I'd go back and forth. Summer school, I'd come here mm -hmm. and uh, when I was really young. Uh, they'd tease me and, and all of that. It started at Sacred Hearts mm -hmm. Convent, but mm -hmm. it got easily, much more easy uh, down the line. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mm. made friendships very easily, and then that all went away. Mm. Yeah, so of course we live and we learn. Um, it took me a while to open myself up because I was uh, bullied a little bit, mm -hmm. yes. Um, called names here right. and there, and that was very hurtful. Mm -hmm. So I think that that did hinder me, but I think I came back strong. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as I got older, you know, it was very easy for me to make friends, so mm -hmm. I got over that. Yeah. And I did have experience with bullying um, in, in elementary and intermediate school. I think most people do have some sort of experience mm -hmm. with that. Um, but what saved me or helped me was friends. Like, you have the bullies that bully you, but then you also have people that stick up for you mm -hmm. or that support you yes. or that you really can count on. And those mm -hmm. are the ones that get you through. Yes, so you have having that those. support. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. and having mm -hmm. those true friends. Yeah. Yes, in my case, uh, there were a lot of uh, older guys that came to my rescue mm -hmm. because they were the ones that were able to stand up to the really the, the big tita. Yeah. You know, oh, hey, yeah. I'm going to meet you in the back of the gym. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. That that talking about. Of, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, or they would uh, take things away from me, and I, I felt so uh, defenseless because uh, I was so p fearful. Uh -huh. Because you came from another country, too. You yes. spoke a different language, so it was probably more obstacles to connect. Aww. Exactly. Yeah. But did you have uh, female friends that came to for your support? Uh, there were, no. yes, but uh, because of the peer pressure, mm -hmm. like, oh, you better not uh, take her be side. Be friends yeah? with yeah, her. Yeah, be friends with her. Oh, or else yeah. You're not going to be our friend. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So yeah. that type of bullying kind of stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, later on, I learned to uh, develop tools that uh -huh. I would use so that I would stand out uh -huh. rather than uh, continue being bullied. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, that probably comes out naturally I would think uh -huh. yeah I know exactly what yes. you're talking about yes okay so uh, we we can talk about that in the next portion of our program okay. uh, again we appreciate you tuning in to uh, our weekly show where we can learn from past experiences and how we can apply uh, these tools that help us uh, to shape our lives and live a more positive life so we will uh, return after our short break. And again, you're listening to Pinoy Power Hawaii, uh, Think Tech Hawaii. When I was growing up, I was among the one in six American kids who struggle with hunger. But with the power of breakfast, the kids in your neighborhood can think big and be more. Go to hungeris.org to make breakfast happen for kids in your neighborhood. みなさんこんにちは。ティンクテックハワイが日本語でお届けする。こんにちはハワイの日本語放送のコスト国末ゆかりです。各週月曜日の2時からお届けしています。日本語コミュニティハワイの日本語コミュニティに便利なお助け情
from uh, our childhood can be applied to our immediate family, especially mm. our children mm. who, uh, you know, in this world where it's a fast-moving uh, society. There's so many things going on, and we rely so much on uh, technology to yes. uh, kind of help raise our children, uh, but that's not good enough. Uh, how are you raising your family and how are you using the tools that you've learned that help you to cope and help you to better yourself in today's very demanding and very competitive society? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. super hard. I have a daughter at Sacred Hearts mm -hmm. and um, social media. It, it really affects young women. You know, mm -hmm. it makes them insecure. You look at that, you want this and you need to look like that. But I always made sure for my son and my daughter that I um, knew who their friends were mm -hmm. because their friends were a reflection of who they were going to be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, lo I always loved my children's friends. My daughter has great friendships that she's building at Sacred mm -hmm. Hearts, like how we did. Mm -hmm. And I, when I see that and I see what we build, I'm like so excited for her future because mm -hmm. she's going to have these women that they grow together, whether they go off to college. It, they're going to come back together in life no matter what. But it's just for me is I have an open, honest relationship. My daughter can talk to me about anything, and I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to be where she can't come to me. You mm -hmm. know, some of the things she tells me I don't agree with and I don't right. like, but she can share with me okay, and I can so share with when her. When she shares your things that you don't quite agree with, do you react or ju judge her? No, no. Okay. The way I have have my friendships is uh -huh. no judgment because if I judge her mm. right she's not gonna open up to she's me. She's gonna yeah. right. uh, yeah. withheld. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I I, I kind of have she's my daughter, we mm -hmm. have a mother daughter relationship, but we still have a friendship mm. and I, I try never to judge her and just be really open and honest and transparent yeah. with her. But Sometimes Monica, it's hard to do yeah. and it's yeah, hard it is. To, <laughs> not to react. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. yes so, it is. But Monica's good because she also guides her though. She mm -hmm. always guides her and gives mm -hmm. her guidance and advice without judgment. Without judgment, Just yeah. open, yeah. honest, and giving her advice and guidance. It, based on our, our experiences right. growing uh, up right. too, right? right. You right. learn right. from your experiences and then you pass that on. Oh, right. Right. Uh -huh. right, right, right. And then, I, you know, my experience is going to all-girls school. Right. You know, she's going to all-girls school. Right, right. And the, the things I went through, negative and positive, mm -hmm. I share with her. You know, and sometimes she probably won't get it. Mm. She's 17 years old, but one day she will understand. You yeah, know, right. she's like, I'm yeah. not like that mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eventually she'll yeah. go, oh, I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Christine, uh, can you relate to? I, I, I currently can't because I do not have a child. I have fur babies. <laughs> oh, okay. Any fur babies. Okay. But as far as um, my stepfather recently passed away, so it's my mother relating with my mom, mm -hmm. I think that... Um, I learned uh, friendships and relationships through her. Um, she has lots of friends. Um, uh, she's good friends with all her neighbors, mm -hmm. um, her classmates. She still gets together with Farrington High School classmates, mm -hmm. which are awesome. Go to Vegas <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, I like to see that, and I think I learned from that as well. And slowly but surely, we're, we're building our group, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think that we have a really good um, close-knit uh -huh. friendship with the, I think it's about 10 to 12 of us right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we want more and more uh -huh. of our classmates. Our classmates to come together. But you know, everybody's so busy. Right. They have kids right. and families. But and we lives. need it more than ever. Mm -hmm. We do. Oh, you know, gosh, with the yes. demands of society. Mm -hmm. So um, I kind of tune into uh, Karen's uh, show from time to time just to uh, hear what she's talking about. And when I listen to uh, her show, she always uh, bring, um, you know, her faith. Uh, into the uh, show, and uh, I know that that's a big part of uh, your success. So, uh, Karen, tell us about that and how you interject uh, your constant faith into your life to make you a better person. Thank you for that, by the way, <laughs> Emmy. Um, and I think we got it at school because we went to a Catholic school, uh -huh. and so that you can have prayer in school, you have a relationship, you get to know Jesus, you have a relationship with God. So that gave us a foundation mm -hmm, for that. Mm -hmm. And whether you go to Christian or other paths, spiritual paths, mm -hmm. you have that foundation and that relationship already established from school. And for me, throughout life, I, I explored different avenues of religions and spirituality. Mm -hmm. But my mom was very devout Catholic. Mm. and. I have to, now I'm going to cry, but I have to take care of her. Uh -huh. And when she passed away, 
Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Going back to the Catholic Church and reconnecting with my Catholic faith that mm -hmm. I grew up with helped me connect to my mom. Mm -hmm. So, and then it helped me connect to my sisterhood too, mm -hmm. because that's where we all met and grew up together. So mm -hmm. it helped me with that as well. Yeah. So. So in my show, I start my show with a prayer, right? And right, I'm right. open to any prayer that the guests can bring. Uh -huh. But usually, I start with Our Father because that's my roots and my right, Catholic right. upbringing, my Christian upbringing. Uh -huh. Always. Huh? Yeah. 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 And it just yeah. kind of gives you a foundation to kind of take a breath and downshift from the craziness of the world uh -huh. and connect to our Creator. Yeah. Yeah. I can relate to that. Right, uh, right. It's all about uh, faith building and right. uh, keeping. Uh, we know that there's a higher power. We know that uh, uh, God, Almighty Father, yeah. guides okay. us, directs us, and uh, makes sure that uh, we are uh, taken care of. So uh, I wanted to just quickly uh, ask you folks how. How does that fit in your life, and how do you, uh, you know, sometimes our children don't like to talk about religion, mm. you know, because uh, it's not it's not a cool thing. So, uh, <laughs> tell us, uh, Monica, how do you how do you do that? Well, um, I was like brought up in Catholic church, and at ten, we um, a whole family changed over to Christian. We went to um, a very like wonderful Christian church, um, and then at one point in my life, I kind of just walked away. So my son went to church with me, and he has a foundation, and he knows everything. And he's still, to this day, as an adult, going to get married, and he knows that God is good and God is center. Now, my daughter— <laughs> But you've never walked away during school, though. Not during, during school, school yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just as in, my, in my adult life, you know, you know, you went through a divorce, and you just kind of just, like, just uh -huh. give up on whatever, and you just kind of go Busy, down a different yeah. path. And um, doing that Y to Kai helped me come back to my roots, you mm -hmm. know. And so now, not bringing my daughter up the way I was and my son was, um, I can't force upon that upon her. I have to lead by an example. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, lead in prayer, be a better mom, um, watch my tongue, how I treat people. I mm -hmm. need to be an example for her mm -hmm. because as a teenager, they know. You don't know. Yeah. I know everything, right? That's their mentality. Right. <laughs> so you can't force anything upon them. You uh -huh. just have to lead by example. So that's what I'm I'm doing now. It's just trying to lead by example and be the best mother, friend, uh -huh. you know, sister uh -huh. that I can be. And hopefully she you sees are. the God in me. Right. And 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 that she will be on her spiritual path. She goes to Sacred Heart, so they. She gets the foundation there. Definitely. Right, but, right. And I think that has strengthened our relationship, too, because we pray together. Mm. Yeah. So as friends, we pray. Right. We make Karen pray all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't make the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we pray together. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, does anybody pray? And I'll be like, Karen? <laughs> then she actually brings it out of us Yeah, after. yeah, she does. Right. Then we want to. Then we yeah, all start yeah. 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 But yeah. then that helps because it really strengthens our bond when right. you have faith between your friends. Yes, okay. it does. It really strengthens us. And Monica's mm -hmm. talking about Y to Kai. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. What's the Y to Kai? So that is, uh -huh. um, Vi is fresh water, right. Kai is ocean, salt right, water. Right. And we did this thing, and actually today is mm -hmm. the first day of the Poi Poi moons, which is uh, fuller moons in Hawaiian uh, uh -huh. lunar calendar. And the last time we had the Poi Poi Moons, we did this practice called Vai Tukai, which is you touch fresh water, stream right. water uh -huh. in the morning, and then you touch ocean water, salt water in the afternoon, evening. And it's kind of like a completion of a cycle, and you be kind to the water. The water is a metaphor for yourself. And we did it as a Spiritual. sisterhood, uh -huh. and we prayed at the water, whether alone or with each other. Um, but we did this 10-day journey during uh -huh. the Poi Poi Moons, uh -huh. touching fresh water and touching ocean water. And it really changed many mm -hmm. of us and opened us up. And we use prayer as part mm -hmm. of that, and that strengthened yep. our friendship so much. It did. Because that it was so awesome. No, it was. Because yeah. it was such an amazing journey. Uh -huh. Who would have thought that a 10 much. days of, you know, I didn't even understand what I was doing, but that first <laughs> morning we prayed together just kind of bonded us. And At like two or three days later, tree. like God was showing things to, in my life. I was like, yes. wow. All the it was little that, gifts like an awakening. Yes. Right? Yes. That's yes. awakening. the source of light right. and the yes. water just like 
you, I don't know, touching the, the aina, the land, the uh -huh. water, and connect. It cleanses you, yeah. isn't it? Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes. And so the good. power of prayer okay. between the three yes. of us. Coming into agreement, you know, yes. makes the work. It makes what it a perfect part. combination. <laughs> now, the people who are listening, who wants to be a part of, of this Y2Kai, yes. uh, how could they become a be a part of, of that. Well, okay. how I found out about it was mm -hmm. through Tom Pena, who's with Homai Kapono. Okay. Homai Kapono. And he runs regular workshops on lunar phases and Hawaiian moons uh -huh. and Hawaiian place and time. And it was suggested to me to do this practice to see what it would stir inside of me and what would mm. be revealed to me just from touching the stream and touching the ocean. And so I go to his workshops regularly at the Manoa Heritage Center. But uh -huh. people can go to Homai Kapono. I think it's homaikapono.org. Um, or .com, I think it's .org, and um, they could Google Homai Kapono and uh, check it out, and they have workshops regularly about the lunar phases uh -huh. and the Hawaiian moons, and this is part of that practice. Wow. Um, yeah. It, it just an awakening for me how yeah, uh, uh, the water around us affect us, uh, the fresh water and the seawater or salt water. Because we are mostly water. Yeah. And, the old, yes. and the land, the earth, the world is mostly That's water. Yeah. So We're it's amazing surrounded. how that connection uh -huh. just yes. reveals stuff in you. Because mm -hmm. we, we all had revelations right. uh -huh. during that 10 day thing. Um, so yeah, it was really special. That is uh, so awesome, and uh, I want to thank uh, all three of you for uh, coming to our show to uh, you, uh, shed some light and, uh, of course, uh, empowerment. This is really powerful when we share experiences. We share uh, the, the not, not so much a secret, but uh, true to life uh, tools that we use you use in your daily life to help turn uh, negative things into something wonderful and positive. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, that is what we need in today's world. For sure. Yes. 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 Thank you again. And may God sister. bless you. Oh. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for bringing us together <laughs> <Yes>. again. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you once again for uh, joining us for Pinoy Power Hawaii. And we uh, uh, encourage you to continue watching uh, the shows where we have real uh, guests where they are uh, open to share their life's experiences <laughs> and from uh, the uh, situations <laughs> and for uh, what we share with you, we hope to fulfill a mission uh, to enrich, Bye. enlighten, educate, entertain, <laughs> and we hope to awesome. empower you. Uh, maraming salamat, uh, million mahalos to Think Tech Hawaii for giving us this opportunity. Uh, Till next time, mabuhay and mahalo.